You ready? I was born ready. Oh, we'll see about that. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Groupetto 2.0. It's been a while. It's been time, but we're back. We're live on the YouTubes, kind of. We're also coming in your ears on SoundCloud, Spotify, and iTunes. As ever, I have my wonderful co-host, Cameron Bloody Jeffers. Cameron. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your uh, on your podcast oh. as as your as your guest. No, 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 you're not a guest. You are you are co-host. It doesn't feel like it, mate. With you doing the intro to every flipping podcast. Okay. I feel like Okay. Uh, so take it from the top? Right. No, no. No. Okay. No. You've done it. You've done it now. You've done it now. Let's let's just let's just keep rolling. I kinda get in I like I like doing it though. I like doing the, the intro. <laughs> it feels nice. You like you like that order of dominance do you you like well there's not many things i'm better at than you okay and i do feel my intros are pretty pretty bloody special <laughs> no I, th- I think so i think Thanks, so mate. I think everyone, I, well, well next next time we'll let you do it um just just to let everybody know that might be listening and not watching we are social distancing by about 90 miles <laughs> <laughs> is that fair to say <laughs> About that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, what is it? It's, it's about an hour and a half in the car. So yeah, I'd say that's about about ninety miles. Yeah, down the M1, across the A50, up the M. No, down the M6, across the A50, up the M1 a little bit. Yeah, about ninety miles. Yeah. <laughs> um, how are you keeping? Not bad, mate. Not bad. Good. Um, bored, but yeah, I'm all right, mate. See, this is I, the thing. Is the thing is like I guess it's the same sort of situation for you. Like, we both work. I guess work from home anyway. So it's like our day to day day to day routine probably hasn't really changed that much, but it's just knowing like you're not able to to travel or you're not able to to, you know, go out and see friends and just do do like the other basic stuff that you that you normally do to to, to live your life. Yeah. I had um I was supposed to be going to the Tour of Flanders sportif with um with a company and I was I was looking forward to that so much, man. And like not being able to go to stuff to things like that is, is is cracking me a little bit but did they um did they did they still pay you or not no all right no. so there's no point promoting them now then <laughs> that's why i didn't say anything <laughs> <laughs> no I, to, to be honest to be to be honest like i had a few a few trips planned which are now obviously cancelled so it yeah, sucks. it's been a bit tricky it's but. Uh, what i've realized from all this is my life is pretty sad and and pretty boring because I have felt <laughs> no ill effects of being on lockdown. So I'm going to take this opportunity to actually reassess my life and realize that <laughs> I need to, I need to get out more. I, need, I definitely need to get out more because nothing, literally nothing's changed for me. I come into work, I make my videos, I do a bit of streaming, go back in the house and then yeah. I do it all over again. But there's obviously people that that it has affected. But we'll not get. It's hey, listen. It's not a serious chat about bloody. One thing um, I know, yeah. But like, what, it, what what's what's kind of cracking me a little bit is like seeing people on social media, right? And I don't want to start calling people. Call out, them out. It's like call <laughs> them out. <laughs> when everyone's like, oh, you got to use this time to be as productive as possible and learn to play a bloody guitar. Yeah. Like if you do, if you if you just want to, if you want to take this time to chill out and and like spend time with your family or do nothing do bloody nothing don't don't try and antagonize and patronize me to to learn a new skill and flipping it's ridiculous isn't it mate the amount of people are going to come out of this lockdown with 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 a six-pack it's going to be insane all of these all of these home workouts and home home pts that are suddenly springing up is is insane it's exactly the same with (laughs) with with parenting obviously you won't have experienced this but everyone was like how are we going to teach our kids at home and for the first week of lockdown, you went on Instagram. Everyone that had a kid was posting pictures of them. Oh, homeschooling. We're homeschooling. And then the following day, same again. And then for about a week, everyone was doing it. Then second week, you saw about half the people. And now no yeah. one does it anymore because everyone's realized <laughs> that it's too bloody difficult. And it's the same with home workouts. It's the same with everything there. Like, just do what you've got to do to get through. Don't. Yeah, like... If if you wanna if you wanna do it if you wanna do it then you yeah know, I'm not, fair I'm not play. calling anyone for I'm not calling anyone for doing it but it's like don't try and just 
Yeah. yeah, I saw a couple yeah. of tweets saying if you don't come out of this with a with a a a, a, a new <laughs> skill or a newfound, you know, um, talent, then I'll piss off. Just piss off. Do one. Do one. Do one. Just bloody do one. But hey, but listen, no one one skill that you might come out of uh, of this quarantine with is a is a new high level of Zwifting ability. <laughs> because I thought you were going to... Oh, go on. Well, go what on. did you think I was going to say? Masturbating? Well, today, today I um, I changed some plugs and I changed some light switches in my house. So I, I might... I might. I ain't got a clap I sound call, effect. I, I might call myself an electrician. Who knows? Wow. I, um, I've been doing a little bit of painting, you know? So So I don't think we've had a podcast since you've moved out, have we? Oh, I've not. I've not moved house yet. Is, but you uh, have a. But a you have a new house. Yeah, yeah, wow. yeah. I've I've got a I've got a place that. Um, but it, I mean, it 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 requires. It doesn't require a lot of work, but it's, there's quite a few little things that I want to get sorted before I move in. For example, you know, all the flooring needs changing, so I don't want to put too much. You know, I don't want to buy too much furniture, and mm-hmm. the walls need painting and stuff. So um, I want to kind of do all of the the foundation type cosmetics. Well, the work that needs doing to the house first before I try and move in. Like every, it's livable. Like everything's fine in it, but I just want to um, get it right, clean it up a little bit, and yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, well, bloody done, you for having a house at twenty, twenty what, twenty two, twenty three, twenty three. Sorry, <laughs> all right, it's not as impressive now, is it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not really that impressive. So, tell us what you've been up to. Like, it's not all about you today, but I've literally done no. sweet fa. So, yeah. <laughs> um, since lockdown, you've jumped back on yeah. on the uh, the indoor trainer. You're still training outdoors, but you jumped on the indoor trainer. Your yeah. streams are back, and can we just take a moment to to appreciate the level that Cameron Jeffers has taken streams? Like I've had to up my game, and <laughs> there are bigger companies out there with less people viewing their streams. <laughs> it's, um, it's pretty. It's been pretty insane the last few weeks, right? Yeah, yeah, it's um, yeah, and I, I was chatting to this about some. I was chatting about this to someone. I, I'm not sure why the kind of the streams are getting so many views. I'm not sure whether it's a case of you know this time last year or or whenever I was streaming last year, the streams would get around 900 to a thousand viewers on a good day. Um, you know, now we're up at on a on a good day around three thousand. So. I'm not sure whether that's a case of, of people being inside and have got nothing else to do, so they're watching more YouTube, um, or whether it's a, just a simple case of the channel has grown, expert, like probably grown about three times since I was streaming last. Mm-hmm. I, I, I anticipate, I, I predict it's it's a combination of the two. Yeah. Um, and also the fact that you know there's no there's no racing going on now. There's no you know for the people that for the for the for the fans of of competition shall we say for the people that, that like that competitive spirit you know there's not a lot for them to watch or, or or get behind so the fact that we've got Zwift um and other indoor training platforms um is 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 pretty good i think so uh, yeah yeah i've been i've been i've been i've been enjoying doing some 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 racing um and i'm and i'm just like i don't want to over i don't want to overcook it though Firstly, because I'll just hate, I'll just hate indoor racing. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, it's like, so I, I'm just limiting it to about two races a week, I think. And, uh, you know, when, when you're racing outside, if you're doing two, two races a week, it's enough, man. It's enough. Like, I don't know how Mr. Ed Laverack's doing like for being a race every day or a race every other day. Like, I don't know how he does yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> on top of that, ridiculous levels of training as well. He's, he's yeah. smashing I mean, out some, some big rides, isn't he? Is he? Oh, did you not see the? Did you not see that that five hour stream he did of where he where he, he replicated Simon Yates's day in the Alps uh, when he won uh, one of the Tour de France stages? Five hours of just yeah, fair yeah it was just ridiculous. But I don't. But 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 what I mean, what what I meant by that is I don't think he's doing any training outside, is he? I'm all right, sure yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Good point. I'm yeah. sure he posted on. I'm sure he posted on Twitter that all his training and is indoors. So I'd imagine he does like some training and then a Zwift race mm-hmm. or something. Yeah, yeah, good point actually. Um touchy subject, I know, but let's let's just talk about it briefly is the fact that we've got one of the the, the well, in my eyes one of the best Zwifters around. Um in in Ed Lavrak as well, riding for a a a new team 
Wah- Wahula Call, and a team that wasn't invited to the to the Zwift Classics. Yeah, yeah. It's, um... <laughs> It seemed it seemed like a bit of um like you spend more time a, in the chat a... than than you do in the in the race and it it should be the other way around really shouldn't it Yeah it's a bit it's a bit of a strange one really I'm not too sure um for the reasons I don't think we've got a definitive answer yet from from Zwift um I know that the women's team got an invite and the men's team didn't which yes uh, I'm I'm sure it, people people have their own kind of conclusions of that but uh, I tried, uh, you know, I've, I've asked, I've tried to ask in Zwift, to be honest, for, for an answer as to why we didn't get an invite. Um, but, but, but yeah, they haven't really, they haven't really given us, given us an answer. And look, I'm not saying that I, I should be invited. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm better than everyone else. Mm-hmm. But what I, what I will say is I sure as hell will try harder and uh, and do better than half of the UK professional peloton. You know, oh, that's a bold guys, claim. You could no, upset no, it, some people not... with that, and I don't care, mate. I don't care. <laughs> the, the thing is, half these lads, they, mate, you're right. They, they do these races. No, but they, they they do these races because they have to. You know, the team manager says, "Right, lads, we're doing the Zwift Classics," uh, and you know, I know for a fact because I've been I've spoken to 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 people, and you know, they, they, they're doing these races because they've been told to by the team, and they have to, and mm-hmm. you know, it, it's part of their race program, and they they turn up, and oh, they get dropped on the first climb. Uh, and that's the end of the race you know that i won't do that if i'm doing these races i will take them flipping seriously and i will i will compete in them as if i was trying to trying to win them well that's it i think i think the team the the women's team just well the men's and the women's team have both got people in there who love the platform who love the competitive spirit of an indoor race who understand it as well and want to go and compete yeah you know you you as an organizer you'd think you'd want those type of people rather than being able to say, oh, we've got Dave Smith from a professional team that's riding when you never see Dave <laughs> Smith in the professional team because, like you say, he gets dropped on the first climb. It's, um, uh, But then again, you know, Cam, at least you get to, to, to try and chat to Zwift in the chat. At least you've not been banned <laughs> from, <laughs> from the, I, uh, I thought, the live chat. I thought I was, I thought I was going to get banned last week. I am. Um, so when I go into into the live chat, you know, there's there's normally quite a few people in there, obviously fans of Zwift, so they, so they know who I am, mm-hmm. and they're like, um, "Oh, Cam, why are you not racing? Why are you not racing? Why are you not racing?" And there's probably like twenty comments as to as Cam, why are you not in this race, or why why have you not been invited? Mm-hmm. So I just, I, or I, you know, I'm almost I'm obviously going to reply to these people. I just literally I never say anything nasty. I just say. You know, I didn't get an invite into this race. Hopefully, I will next time. And uh, flipping Zwift in the chat last week said, um, "Moaning, or what did they say? Complaining on a live stream isn't going to help the situation." I was like, <laughs> "What wow. the f u c k are you talking about? How am I complaining? I'm literally responding to people. My, you know, people that, that know me and watch my live streams. I'm responding to those guys' yeah. questions as to why I'm not in the race, and that's." being portrayed as me complaining it is a shame you want me to complain i will complain but you know i'm not i'm not gonna do that (laughs) it is a shame because i think what you'd see is especially from the team that we've got you would see fireworks you would see another team up front around those other teams that are really competitive on zwift you'd it you'd just get an an extra dimension of competition within the in the in the race and i guess the frustrating thing is when i look at it is like I think one of the reasons were um, the entry list is full. Now we're talking about a <laughs> virtual platform here. Do you know what I mean? Like if it was a real life event and there was a limited number because of health and safety reasons, you'd go, all right, fair point. Just bear us in mind next time for when we have a race. But here, the the, the, the list's full. What? Like since what? Come on. We've currently got 30,000 people riding around Watopia and you can't put an extra... Five guys in a race. Yeah, yeah it's, it's um, it's, but it's, I'm saying it as it is. It's bullshit. But I'm sure, it, I'm sure they've got the reasons, and I, that's cool. I, 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 and you know, a, a direct message if Zwift, if you are happen to be watching this podcast, <laughs> or someone send you a link of this, I just want to say I love your software. I love the platform. I love racing on Zwift. Please invite us to the next round of Zwift Classic. We'll turn up. We'll do our best. We'll we'll, we'll get stuck into the racing. And um, you know, we're, we're, 
you know, we're not we're not just there to make up the numbers. We'll, we'll give it a good shot, mm. and I'm willing. I'm willing to not stream my perspective of. Oh my! You don't get that is so you, so you don't lose viewers. <laughs> that is that is massive. Boom! Wow. There we go. That's that, mate. That's how much I want. That's how much I want to race these races. I'm willing to not stream them in order to race them. That's yeah. Well, let's hope, let's hope they. Let's hope this podcast makes it out first and foremost. Then, <laughs> secondly, let's hope they hear it and actually say, "Yeah, actually, okay, we'll, 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 we'll do it." But anyway, this this podcast isn't solely about Swift. It's about it's about us, Cam. So, um, what else is going down? Oh, in fact, what before? Sorry, before we do, um, some news that came in this morning that I wanted to talk to you about. So, Tour de France got postponed, in it, in it, in it. Yeah. As in, didn't it? Did it? Didn't it? So it got postponed to the it end did, of August, it. but it now appears that they might be postponing it again. Here's a theory for you that I want you to um, to digest. I think that the Tour de France is not going to go ahead at all, and the organisers know this, and they've just done um, thrown a date out there to to ease people, and ease sponsors, and ease money. But really, they they have no intention of putting it on at all. What's what's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I think I think there's there's probably some truth in that. I think um, there's a couple of of national governing bodies in cycling which are saying that that you know they're looking to resume racing on. I think at the minute, I think you know don't quote me on this, but I think British Cycling's estimation is is around the start of June. Um, however, Dominic Dominic Rab um, for, for said said yesterday that in in his press or in an interview he said that. He doesn't expect there to be any racing, any any competitive sports um, all summer. Uh, and the only if if there is going to be any competitive sports, it will only be at the top tier elite level, uh, where all the athletes going to be going to be tested. But because everyone, but because you know, typically in sport, everyone's in close proximity. Um, he doesn't see any 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 sport kind of competition going ahead this summer. So it's like, what does British cycling know that? The government slash World Health Organization don't. Um, yeah, and I, and I, and and maybe it's a maybe it's a similar situation with Tour de France. Uh, and I mean, I, look, I get it, I get it because these races, you know, they, there's obviously multi multi millions of pounds worth of 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 costs and funding that goes into these races. So it's so for them to say like it's cancelled is going to be such a shit fest <laughs> yeah yeah big time um i think they'll just kind of hold it off as as long as possible and also it allows them put, to put in a bit of a contingency plan between now and then mm-hmm. as to what they're going to do and how they're going to go about it and how you know our people our sponsors are going to get their money back and and yeah, are they going to just postpone the same route until 2021 or are they going to do a completely new one or wow. i don't know that's yeah it's, that's it's, a, yeah, that's, it's a, crazy, isn't it? that's a that's a What's what's this? Say? That's like opening a can of worms out because, because what they said is as well that they're not going to make any changes to the route if it goes ahead at the end of August. They're not going to make right. like it's the it's the it's the route as it was. So, so imagine how how a big big of an issue the logistics was to try and get every single stage to go on the same routes like two months later. It must have been an absolute nightmare. So that's what makes me think. I, I don't know how they can do that. I really don't know how they can do that. But I guess only time will tell. I really hope there is a Tour de France. Like, how do you feel if if you get to the end of the year and you've had zero racing? Like, how's that yeah. going to feel? Is are you going to be annoyed? Are you going to be frustrated? Are you going to feel that that that's put you back a year? Uh, or um, I, it, it's a tricky one. Like, I definitely don't think I'm going to say I'd be frustrated. Like, I think if if you. It's quite. Oh, I don't know how to word this, but I think it might be slightly arrogant to say that, you know, to 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 moan that there's no races. Like, there's a bigger there's a bigger issue at hand, yeah. and like, this is a situation that's kind of never, none of us have, have ever had to deal with in our lifetimes, and we probably, hopefully, touch wood, never have to deal with it again. So it's like, you know, it's an unprecedented time, as as everyone keeps saying. But it's like, it's it's it's, it's a bigger issue than than racing. Um, and if we get to race this year, then that's fantastic. But if we don't, then so be it. And I think, you know, I'm I'm more than happy to say, look, I don't, I'm not I don't want to race this year if it means that that it slows the spread of of the virus through through a race peloton, mm-hmm. right? Um, but yeah, it, it, I mean, it, it's tricky from I think from a, from a team's perspective as well. 
you know, all these we, we've seen the reports of World Tour teams. I think uh, Mitchelton Scott are the most recent team that have said that um, most. Well, I think all of all of the riders actually now have taken have taken. A, is it a thirty percent pay cut? I'm not sure on that um, one, but yeah, I've 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 been hearing that that, that other teams yeah, have been doing the know, same. And I know that they've they've furloughed some of the some of the staff and stuff. So mm-hmm. it's like, you know, for, for 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 professional cycling where you are essentially a billboard for sponsors and brands, and if those brands aren't getting any exposure, then it's like that's not a successful business transaction. So I think it's going to cause a lot of problems. Like even you know my own team, Saint Piran, um, they're trying to restructure themselves a little bit to to focus a lot more in in social social media and and showing the brands off on social media as opposed to uh race results because you know there simply is is no race results this year so. yeah like do you, th- yeah, do you think that tricky. this might be a that this might be a, a, a i don't know if it's a turning point is the right word but a moment where everybody stops and reassesses the whole business model of because i spoke about it yesterday on the new show which you probably didn't watch it which is cool it's whatever um but the fact that you know what it feels like is, especially in the UK, you've got the teams who who scrabble and try and chase as much sponsorship money as they can, and they have they just hope that it all comes in. And you've seen numerous teams fold because that sponsorship money hasn't come in, and that's when these teams are racing and getting the exposure that these sponsors want. Now, without this, the, uh, without the racing, there's no like you said, there's no exposure at all. So these teams and these sponsors and the people who are in charge of the the marketing for these teams are looking at different ways as to how they can promote the the brands that are sponsoring the team and promote the team and keep an interest within the team without there being racing. So do you think it's going to restructure it to a point where it becomes teams, teams and riders do a lot more what you're doing in terms of, you know, videos, live streams, um, more interaction on social media? Uh, Yeah, I think, I think, I think if we can, if cycling can get over this old school mentality, uh, that that's kind of that that it's had for well since forever, and it, and this kind of reluctancy to change the way they do things, uh, and I, and I think if it's ever going to change, now is the time because mm-hmm. you know people have got more time on their hands to to think about new in an new and innovative ideas. Um, also, like you said, that they kind of have to because they need to promote these sponsors. Um, have they got so time if, though if, have they got time because they're all learning new skills they're all learning new languages and doing their home workouts mate so <laughs> <laughs> you know maybe it, no, it never oh, will change oh god <laughs> maybe it won't maybe it won't but but yeah I think I think now is definitely the time that if it's going to change it's going to be now um, and yeah yeah um... because it, look, if you look at Sim, Simper and your team like you can do. You can probably do more now in this this position you're in to promote the brands and sponsors of them than they can do in a whole season. Do you know what I mean? And you've, uh, they've got to look at that and go, right? Let's let's try and let's try and build the story similar to what Cameron's doing, so we can get the the brands out there and we can we can get the name of the 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 riders out there and the stories of the riders and what what's happening right now, rather than just solely waiting for a for a yeah. you know a, a national b race that a rider finishes th- finishes third in and they send that to the sponsor and go hey that's what your money's going yeah. for do you know what i mean i i think i think riders you know riders within the sport um need to create need to have be 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 more of a personality on social media right so they 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 grow their own following they they get their own you know they 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 grow that that that, that follower base are on social media and they, they get that personality and people kind of people then learn to know that personality right? i'm gonna change this over a little bit to, to like competitive um to professional call of duty play uh, teams where for example i don't know how many of these view- of the viewers are gonna know what i'm gonna be talking about right now but you've got you've, you've got in america you've got all the different teams uh you've got london ravens chicago huntsman dallas empire and the list goes on and but the the chicago huntsman is a team which is composed of 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 some of the best players some of the best call of duty players in 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 the business but it's also composed of all the biggest youtube streamers uh kind of 
these online celebrities. Yeah. So whenever this whenever this team turns up to an event or whenever this whenever this team's live, you know, it, it, competing at an event, the the live streaming figures of 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 that event literally double just because these players are at are, are, are playing at that time or they're in that event. So I think cycling kind of needs a similar situation where people start to become more of a fan of of riders uh, and therefore the teams because you know at the minute we you know British people are typically fans of Team Ineos because we're from the UK and it's a British team. Mm-hmm. But it's like, are you a genuine fan of 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 that person? Um, and I also think you know e racing man like we've seen how big Call of Duty is, esports, Fortnite, different different genres like that. And and why can't cycling get a piece of that? I know Zwift are trying to do it and they've trying to be trying to do it for the last few years, but you know have have events and and sell tickets and sell you know charge fees to watch live streams but again and, and, and uh, so you're right in what you know Zwift have been trying to to make esports a thing but what you what you're seeing is like um the riders themselves that are streaming like yourself like uh, Lionel Vuisson you're getting to see the yeah. personality. You're getting to see the rider because they're streaming, and that makes it much more engaging. You can't the the platform itself. I don't think will be the will be the f- deciding factor that makes esports cycling esports a thing. It's going to be the riders that do it, and the personalities yeah. and investing in those personalities like you, like him, hopefully like me a little bit. If you enjoy shitty races, <laughs> but certainly the the platform itself should just serve as the platform. Like Call of Duty doesn't try and be bigger than the guys that are playing it. Call of Duty went, this is the game. Go and do what you want with it, guys. And and the yeah. and the players took it upon themselves to become the personalities, become the success stories out of it, didn't they? Exactly, exactly. And cycling, I believe it can. I believe it can follow a similar model. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, unfortunately, we've got these people within our sport which look at e-racing and e-sports and e-cycling and think that it, that it's a joke uh, uh, and it's you know it's not it's not proper cycling or whatever you know and we need that that mentality needs to change or the sport is going to die and it's as simple it's as simple as that and and i don't understand why you know we can't just try it just try this you know just 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 host a few test events you know invite these invite the best Zwift racers, the, the the biggest online personalities, invite them all to this, to this arena and, and, and sell tickets and just, just see, see if it's going to work, try it. Um, and if it doesn't work, at least we know, and, and at least the kind of the sport knows that it needs to go in a new direction. But if it does work, then, you know, Hey, presto, look at, look at me now. Yeah. Um, I think, I think the fact that, that we've had this, this, um, this forced uh, extension of the winter season and more people indoors, I think it's obviously yeah. it's forced a lot of the pros to jump on it and and actually they've they're not coming at it with it's never going to replace you know traditional cycling because it's not trying to replace it it's obviously no. it's just trying to be its own genre um first off it was just trying to be um an extension of training within winter and then the communities decided to make it a race thing and now it, it needs to sit, like you say, on its own pedestal as its own sport, not trying to take away from from outdoor sports because it never will because there's no tradition, there's no, there's nothing behind it yet, there's no history to it. But I think the more pros get involved, the more they just accept it for what it is and use it the way it should be. And I think with technology moving forward and and um, trainer companies getting their heads together or at least starting to develop their own series of racing. So like we saw with the British champs, the fact that everyone was on a kicker, everyone was in the same room, there was an air of legitimacy about it. You knew that the trainers were set up. You knew that the the riders were were weighed. And, uh, yeah, it was all legit. And and I think that's that event, like you say, get people in those arenas, get start these events off. Maybe we should start one. Maybe we should, mate. Shall Maybe we? we actually should. I mean, how I'm difficult down. would it be? Yeah, we just need we need we need we need we need ten, you know, ten or twenty, 20 ten or twenty riders. Yeah. We need a good internet connection so we could live stream and a decent venue. I reckon we could do that. Right, audience, um, <laughs> I think we should we should wrap it up there with a with a with a call to action. Audience, what do you think to that? Do you think me and Cam should uh, 
um, arrange but the first. I can't. You, I can't. Yeah, I you can't, can't, can't race in it. If that, I couldn't like, and I, and I need to. I I couldn't host this thing and not flipping race in it. So maybe you, you're gonna have to do it without. I'll me. be the. I'll <laughs> I'll host. Well, we'll just we'll we'll invent a new company called yeah the Group O two three point <laughs> and then we'll we'll organize these events. Okay. I think that'd be a good idea. Should we crowdfund it as well? Definitely, because if if if, <laughs> if 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 it then all goes to tits, then at least we've we've made some money out of it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, uh, far too much indoor talk, but there's literally yeah. nothing else to talk about. So, hopefully, um, everybody. I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this now, Cam. Can you hear that? Yeah. Oh God damn it! If only I was more techni- technologically advanced, then this whole podcast could have been a hell of a lot easier to edit. But there we go. Mate, we're doing our best. We're doing our best. We are doing we're, our best. Thanks, mate. We're 90 miles away from each other. It, it's, it's not the easiest of things to do. I can't even see your face. You know, you might be put, sticking tongue out at me right now. I don't, mate, I don't know what you're doing. I'm not even dressed. Really? I'm doing this whole podcast wow. naked. Well, no, the, the, camera's, the camera's up there, isn't it? It's going to see me. I've um lie. I've got my cycling shorts on because I'm about to go for a bike ride. So. Oh, nice one! Right, we'll not keep you any longer. <laughs> right, Cameron, do the outro. Oh, it's cutting in and out, mate. <laughs> Oh, it's cutting in and out, mate. What a terrible outro. That is why we leave the intros and the outros to Chris Pritchard. Thanks for listening, everybody. Thanks for watching if you are on YouTube. Leave those comments down below. Leave those likes. Make sure you're subscribing to both our channels, which you probably are anyway. Cameron doesn't need any more. I need to catch him up. Um, until next time, Cam, you got anything, uh, anything nice to leave with? Stay safe, stay inside. Keep washing your hands and uh, protect the NHS. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> nice.